everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it'd be fun to see which of my spring palettes have I actually used. I did a video of all of the spring palettes that I want to use this year and like my favorites. And I thought it would be good to just take note if I actually have used any of these now that spring is over and we're moving into summer. Um, have I done what I set out to do? Let's go into it. So obviously I do mark down all the shadows that I use throughout the months when I do my projects, my shot, my stashes and everything like that. So it is, I would say, uh, less than 1% chance that I have used anything and not marked it down. <laughs> I'm quite pedantic when I write down what I use in terms of eyeshadows. So I have a good understanding of what I have used out of this list that I did. I, there's a lot of palettes here. I forgot that I picked so many palettes for that video. If you want to have a look at the video, I will pop it up somewhere on the screen. But yeah, let's go through and see if any of these palettes have been touched or loved and if there's any pans or changes or anything like that. All right, so I'll start with this one because it's the biggest. This is the Earthly from Beauty Bay. I have used this. This has been in my shop, my stash, I want to say three months now, and I've been doing a no pan left behind. Absolutely, I have used this. I really enjoyed it too. Not all the time am I wanting to do a green look, so that is, I would say, 80% of the palette, maybe 90% of the palette. It, there are some really beautiful neutral shades in here. Obviously, I don't have any pans. It is a newer palette for me, but I don't know if you can see, I definitely have used all of the shades, and I've also done a um, three looks, one palette, but I've done multiple looks, not even just three looks. I don't recall what it is. I actually haven't even edited that video, but by the time you see this video, hopefully it will be out. Anyway, but yes, I have absolutely used this palette and I'm very, very happy that I did. I think it still is a really good spring palette, but I think the next time I wanna dive into greens is most likely gonna be autumn fall time because I've been using this as I said, for three months now, and I'm a little bit over it now. All right, moving on, we have my Yasmin palette from Miley Beauty. This has also been in my shop, my stash. I've been really enjoying this. I also have this shade here that I'm working in my Zodiac Panner. It has been neglected quite a lot, but I think it's gonna be a beautiful summer palette to use. So I don't really mind. I rolled it into my spring palette collection, but it also is very much a summer palette for me. And I'm really hoping that I can dip into it more. I actually have a couple shades on today. I have the Nadia shade um, under my lid here, and then I have a little bit of the Mayali shade on my lid. Beautiful, beautiful palette, and I will be working on it definitely um, in the next few weeks. Similarly, I have the Cartagena Magica palette from Nomad. This one I have also used, again, in my shop, my stash. And again, I have pulled it for a summer palette as well. So yes, I pulled it for spring, but I also think it's a beautiful, maybe even more of a summer palette than it is for spring. And I am definitely gonna be using this a little bit more over the coming weeks. But I have gotten a little bit of use. I haven't, I have been trying to do a no pan left behind. I haven't touched all the shades just because I've been really trying to focus on that earthly palette. But these two have definitely been used and loved and I will be continuing to work on them. All right, let's go to something that I haven't touched at all, which is the She Glam palette. This is the Virtuous Virgo. And you can see why I haven't touched it, because I had that earthly and I was doing a pan up behind. Why on earth would I want to grab another green palette? I actually still think this is a pretty palette, even though, you know, most people would agree that they don't want to support She Glam and everything like that, fast fashion, fast fashion type style of makeup. You know, it's all that mass produce line, but you know, ColourPop does it too. So I, I feel like it's all the same thing. Um, but I actually kind of like this palette. This I really wish was just a beautiful metallic, but it is a glitter, so not the best palette in the world. Um, but I still feel like I want to play around with it at the, some point this year. I don't know if I'm gonna get to it in the coming weeks or months, if I'm being completely honest. I still think it's a beautiful spring palette and it's such a shame that I wasn't able to grab it, but I was working on my earthly. And honestly, Beauty Bay formula is chef's kiss compared to this. So, you know, it's not like I'm missing out, but I am a Virgo and I, I do like it. And it's my only sheet lamp palette. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming it's probably the only one I'm going to have. So anyway, let's move on. All right, I've got my Mercury Retrograde here. This one is absolutely a spring palette. And this one I've absolutely used. I've done a no pan left behind in my shop, my stash, and 
I have two shiny pens in here. So this one has definitely been loved this spring. Um, I actually have a couple of shades on today. I have this shade on today. I have quite a lot of this shade on, this shade, and maybe some others. But I hit pan in these two over the spring season and I'm very excited that this palette looks more loved because I've always enjoyed this palette but it's never been a palette that's looked loved in my collection and now it finally is starting to look loved because it is. So yeah, I really do like it. I'm still working on this shade. I've kind of neglected this shade for a bit, but this one is in my Zodiac Panna, so I'm still going to be working on this palette, but not so much every shade like I have been doing. Um, but yeah, I've definitely been enjoying this palette this last spring. All right, moving on to my Pan Lab palette. Obviously, I've been using it. I, I think this was like a no-brainer. Yes, this is a great spring palette. It's the e.l.f. Retro Paradise. However, the formula is just dying. It's, it's just being washed out completely on my lids. It doesn't really hold its strength anymore. The shimmers aren't super impactful. I've seen people starting to declutter it or have already decluttered it because of that reason. I've always loved it. I've always thought the color story was a lot of fun. But it's my Pan Lab palette, so obviously I'm still working on it. I'm going to be still working on it in the summer. I don't... I mean, it is a summer palette. It came out in the summer. But for me, when I look at it, I don't... It doesn't scream summer palette to me. But obviously I'm still going to be working on it. And I'm, tr I'm trying to get pans in all the shades. I, I was working on this shade today, and I've been working on it for a while now. And I still can't hit pan on it. It is so, like, firmly pressed. Com and compared to the rest of the shades, they're not at all. Hopefully by the time this video actually is out, because I'm filming a little bit of ahead of time, maybe I will have a pan on that. But, yeah, this one has definitely definitely been used. I would say a little bit less used in the spring than the first part of the year. Um, I kind of slowed down a little bit, but it's going to it's gonna still carry on being my Pamela palette for the year, so it will continue to get love. Next up, I've got a Techni Days palette from Beauty Bay. No one talks about this, but I love this palette, and this one has definitely been used. So I haven't done a no pan left behind, but I have been working on these two shades, and you can see here I have a pan in this one. This one, I was just a focus shade that I had for the month. I do a little side hustle, you know, eyeshadow panning project for myself, and I pick one shade. I go through the alphabet, basically, and I pick the letter for the month that corresponds to the month. So this was acid, so this was my April shade. But I did not hit pan, but I definitely got a little bit of use. And this one, I believe, was in my Zodiac Panna. So that one's been used. I've already done a no pan left behind on this last year at some point, or maybe it was this year. I'm not entirely sure, but at least I've been dabbling into this palette. It hasn't been completely neglected. I still think it's a beautiful spring palette, and I'm happy that I got some more use out of it. Right, moving on, I did pick the Summer and Central Paper from BH Cosmetics, and I don't think I touched this. I don't think I touched this. Mm, actually, maybe the yellow. I think I'm working on... Yes. I'm working on the yellow in my Zodo Panic, so I would have probably used that, I think, once. But aside from that, I haven't touched the palette. So this one was a little bit neglect, I mean quite a lot neglected in spring, but it is one of my summer palettes. So I'm hoping that I continue to use it. What's going on with my hair here? I just noticed that. I, I hope that I continue to use it because I love this shade up here, which is Coastline. I just think it's fabulous. And this is such a beautiful summer palette as well. So I'm hoping that, you know, yes, I didn't use it for spring, but hopefully I get more use out of it in the coming weeks and months, just like the Nomad palette and also the Miali Beauty palette. Let's go on to the Nomad Tokyo palette. This one, I haven't really used all the shades like I wanted to because there's a lot of beautiful spring pastel shades in here and unfortunately I did not use those. But I have used the palette because I've been working on this shade and you can see I have a beautiful big shiny pan in there, which I'm very excited. It was a shade that I was working on my Zodiac pan in last year and I rolled it back in this year um, because I was so close and I just didn't want to not hit the pan. And I've hit the pan now, which is very exciting. But I haven't dipped into the, these beautiful bright pastel shades. So I might keep it around just to do that. I think it would be a lot of fun. It's starting to get really messy though. I don't know. I really need to like clean all my palettes. 
um, but it hasn't, I, I would say it hasn't been like loved, I mean this palette's been loved because I have pans in here, but I ha it hasn't been loved in the sense that I haven't really done a no pan left behind on it in a long time, so maybe potentially I can, I can try to squeeze it in at some point, because I do like this palette, and I put so much love into it, I just kind of want to dip into those bright shades, maybe I'll do one look and then I'll put it away, you know, just just to appease my my brain. Okay, next up, I actually rolled in the Hocus Pocus 2 from ColourPop, and this one is currently in a Shop My Stash, so, and I have done a look with it. Um, I, I haven't done a No Pan Left Behind on it yet, as that's what I'm working on, but it hasn't, so, so in a sense, it hasn't been fully neglected, I just haven't played around with it enough, and not for the whole spring. So it's gonna carry on through to the summer, but I'm hoping that I'll just use it for maybe a couple weeks and then I can roll it out of my neck shop, my stash, and that will be fine. But yeah, I do, I, st I still think some of these bright, like th this lime is so, so fun for the spring. I'm not so sure it's a summer palette. Maybe just I'll lean into more of the oranges and then I'll be done, I don't know. But I still wanna use all of the shades before I roll it out because I really haven't used that many of the shades since I got it and I really do like this palette. But it's a shame, I didn't use it over the spring uh, just simply because I, I had all those other palettes to use. But if I don't use it enough, obviously there's always Halloween, so there's that. All right, so I also had my Aha uh -huh Honey in the list, which I'm surprised about. This was my project level up, the level three, and I worked on this for three months. So this was massively loved and used over the course of spring. However, mine looks very different to how it looked when I was using it because I have rearranged a lot of my ColourPop monochromatic palettes. However, I've kept in the three shades that I was using in my project level up, so you can kind of see I hit three pans over the spring, so this one was definitely loved and used, and obviously I used all the shades for my project level up, so the whole palette in itself was loved, I just don't have those shades in here. So I'm quite happy about how much use I've given this palette, but now that it looks like this, I kind of just want to dip into it again. You know, I could have used this palette for this look, potentially. But yeah, it's kind of fun with all those purples, so for me it's like a new palette again, which is really exciting. I also had the Juvia's Blushed Rose in there, and which I thought was a palette that I was going to declutter, to be honest, but I, I rolled it into a shop my stash, so I definitely used it this spring, and I did get some love into it. You can see I've got some a little bit of dips in the shimmers, and I do think it's actually a really pretty palette. I think this shade is really special. This is a beautiful inner corner. I think the mattes are nothing special, if I'm being completely honest, so I could potentially still get rid of this palette and maybe just keep the shimmers. I might do that because I don't really go into these mid-tone pinks all that much. They're just not something that I wear a lot of. I, I think they're pretty and I don't have an issue with pink. It's just not my go-to, um, you know. It's not my go-to, even though I'm wearing a lot of purple and pink right now, but <laughs> it isn't. And I don't know, it's just one of those things where it's not my preference, but the shimmers are really beautiful. And the palette itself, I gave a lot of love. I didn't know if I'm behind, like I said. So that one was used, which was good. All right, and then I've got my Orange You Glad from ColourPop. So technically I have been using this but only one shade because I rolled in a shade in my pan those eyeshadows. The shade is no longer in this palette though because as I said, I've rearranged all of my ColourPop monochromatic palettes and the, so I actually never ended up using the Orange You Glad palette as a whole for the spring, which is, which is a shame. I have the one shade that I'm trying to pan in my pan those eyeshadows in this one, which again, it has been changed from the whatever palette. So. This one technically I kind of failed on because when I say I want to use a palette, it's more than just once. And with pat you know, pan nose eyeshadows, I usually just use the one shade and I kind of neglect all the other shades because I'm trying to do everything else. <laughs> I'm doing trying to do no pan left behind with everything else. So this one's kind of a dud. I didn't really get to it, but I'm still obviously working on one shade. Um, and honestly, all of the other colors are dispersed around, so I honestly don't know where they are. I kind of feel the same about these two, but these two I haven't actually touched. So these two have also been rearranged. I mentioned the lilac you a lot in that, in that video, um, and at the time it looked different to this, and now it looks like this. So again, very different. It's got some greens in there. It's got so 
some darker like maroony reds and it's a, it looks a lot of fun to be honest but this one for me looks like a full autumn palette so I'm gonna wait till then to like try and pull it out really really beautiful it's got some of the mint to be and it's got um the just my luck uh, green shades in there. I, I don't recall where these ones are from, but I don't think any of the Lila Q a lot is actually in here anymore, which is kind of interesting. And then I also mentioned the Sweet Talk, which looked very different to this. It doesn't look like, <laughs> when I spoke about it in my spring palette, it didn't look anything like this. I added oranges and greens, and this one is a lot of fun. This one I'm actually really excited to uh, test out, and I think I'm going to be trying to test out this in the summer. So I think technically it's still a beautiful like spring palette, the way that I I've ended up rearranging it but obviously it, we're at the end of spring so I'm hoping that I can use it in the summer I think that'll be a lot of fun but yeah that is it those are all the palettes that I mentioned in my spring like favorites palettes and palettes that I want to use to be honest I'm actually pretty pleased with the the amount that I was able to use I was there was only like a handful of palettes that I didn't really touch and then everything else I did at some point or they were rolled into uh, shop my stashes so that's good because I, I do like to arrange my palettes in terms of season and I have two different drawers one drawer is like the drawer of palettes either new or palettes that I've been neglecting or palettes that are in in terms of season kind of make sense for me to want to use and that's kind of what I pull from my shop my stash and then on the bottom drawer is like everything else so most of these were in that upper drawer um, and I think because I rearranged a lot of the Colourpop palettes they, these were kind of all neglected in a way but I'm not so bothered by that because now that I've rearranged them I feel like they have completely different color stories different seasons and I've got plans for them so I'm going to be working on a lot of them so yeah, that is it. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you'd like to. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.